Hi there. So we're back for book review number four, and due to how much interest I got the other week in this book on Neardrum, I decided we'd go ahead and take a look at this one, and decided to pair it with this book on Courier. So let's get started. Right, so this is an excellent, I think somewhat older book on Odd Neardrum. It again starts with, like many other um, books on living artists, kind of just starts with some written information and some background into Odd Neardrum as a painter. So as you can see, not too many photos or anything, just kind of stuff like that. It looks like poems, but it's, it's, not, it's not poetry. So, yeah. So we'll just skip, we'll just skip ahead because this is a big book and there are a lot of images to get through. Um, and obviously the words are too tiny to read, anyways. So, get started here. Right. So this book starts with work that he did back in 1963. So, if I'm reading that correctly, upside down. So, definitely starts at the earlier stages of his career. And I do think he's such a, he's such an amazing, um, he's such a skilled painter, um, so it's really interesting to see um, the broader scope of his work. Okay, me, yes. Okay, so what I, what I do really like about Odd Neardrum's books is um, he, he does put a lot of emphasis on, um, or at least some emphasis on, like, close-ups. So, you will get these lovely really high resolution detail images of his paintings and that's just you know something that I think we as artists all kind of live for in art books so it's a bit hard to flip through because it's a little bit it's a little delicate this one um, again that's just my copy I bought it used um, and uh, this is the only book I have on on near Dream, so I don't know how to compare it to I don't have anything else to really compare it to but um, I have heard that his books in general are very, very good. But like, just look at that close up. So beautiful. So, yeah, so definitely just really fascinating. Um, really, I do love those close up images. So his books are really wonderful for that. It's a nice, it's, it's a high quality book. So, you know, even though this copy is a little bit delicate, I do believe that was just because it was referenced quite a bit. Um, and as you can see in, in my copy, the pages have yellowed, um, just from time. I don't know when it was published. I tried to find out, but I, um, I tried to look it up, but I didn't give myself enough time, so don't know, but I'm sure it's easy to find out when this copy came out, but it's, it's a really, it is a great book, has just so many, so many images. I do love the full page illustrations always wish there would be more um, but that's with any book I will say one thing I do kind of like is that the images are specifically on one side of the uh, of the sorry of the book you know because it kind of just makes it easier to just be able to flatten that side out and reference it because um, you know sometimes if you're trying to especially if you're trying to draw from a book it's a little bit harder when you have images on both sides of the paper and you know Seeing just a lot of information, it just kind of is nice. It's a good presentation, I think. Um, right, let me flip through these like that, since they don't want to rip. But yeah, definitely one of the best things about his books are just these amazing close-ups. And uh, if you're interested in On Your Dream's earlier work, it, I'm seeing now it's broken down into, I think, three sections, maybe, maybe more. Um, but, oops. Um, if you're a fan of his earlier work, I think the late, the most recent painting in here is actually from the 90s, so it's not, it's not a, it's not his recent work. Um, it's uh, definitely a bit different. So I, there were a lot of paintings in here that I actually had not seen of his, um, just simply because they are, these paintings in particular from the 80s. So, oops. I will say the pages are, are glossy, which is awesome in a lot of ways, but sometimes can create some glare, which really only 
matters for the sake of sharing it in a video or photo format. So if you own the book, it's not an issue. So, yeah, so let's keep going through. Like I said, it's a very, it's a very big book. Um, it's a heavy book, but so it's it's one that you'll might not want to put in your checked bag because you just don't want it to make it too heavy. <laughs> but it but it is just beautifully done. Really loved it. Really loved seeing the scope of his work spanning. First painting was from the '60s. Last painting's from the '90s. So like three decades there. Four decades done. So yeah, just really beautiful close-ups. He's such an interesting uh, painter. I know there are a lot of people who have gone and studied with him personally. I know people who have, um, but I of course have not been. But it's just really, really cool to see the scope of his work. Um, it's very well documented, to say the least. Okay. So, yeah. Those close-ups, it's, it's really nice. Um, I was talking to someone recently and they said that uh, that Odd Neardrum kind of makes his books for the purpose of art students, which is just kind of, you know, for, for artists and art students. And that's just really um, always nice to see, you know, any time you can have those references again because a lot of work by living artists is in, it's in private collections so you don't get to see it yourself so when you have it well documented in a book it's it's really nice. It's the full painting of what's on the cover. So it's really, really cool. Yeah. Really excellent. Just love those high resolution close-ups they're just so so amazing. Oh, okay. Yeah. Oh, so these books can be a little bit more expensive. I think this one in particular might be out of print. I'm not positive though. And out of print books are generally more expensive. Um, unless they just were produced widely, which, you know, I don't, you know, never know which ones are and which ones aren't. It'll depend on who's publishing them and the kind of audience thereafter, but it's really great. Yeah, so as a rule, you know, always maybe see when a new book comes out, wait a couple months, see if you can get a, a good used deal on it. Otherwise, the likeliness is it's going to go up in price as opposed to down, but you never know. So sometimes you can score amazing deals. Okay, keep going. Just a lot of really great images in here. Just great image quality too, which is, oh, again, just like so important when you're using these for reference. So let's keep going. Okay. All right, getting closer to the end. And it always gets a little bit harder to flip through. But yeah, I mean those just close ups. Just they're just stunning. So nice. And then I think that, yep, that is the last image. So, and it just goes into the appendix. So that is this book on Odd Neardrum. So, this is a book on Croyer and the and his artist colony in Denmark. Um, I don't know if it's pronounced Skagen, Skagen. Couldn't find a good resource for that but so apologies for my pronunciations as always but this is really a great book um on for on Croyer I haven't seen a ton of others so I don't know if there are many other books on him out there um this one can can kind of range in like the mid mid expense price um like under a hundred dollars but can be as high as I've seen as high as 60, 70. Um, I did manage to get this copy for, I think, just under $50 though, so it's definitely possible to get for a 
a better price again especially for getting used copies but so it covers not only uh, Croyer's work but the work of his fellow artists that he was working with at the time so it's really great image quality um, the one thing that can be said is that maybe they're a little bit small um, you know they're they're no true full page illustrations but things like this they're good you just can't just can't get into the nitty-gritty of it but it does give a good idea of his paintings overall so, uh, so what's really cool is that there were actually some female artists in his in this group including Croyer's wife uh, Marie Croyer and uh, and another I'm gonna mispronounce her, her name as well but um, Anna Ancher, Anchor, don't know how to say it, but who is the wife of another artist in the group named Michael uh, Ancher, Ancher or, or Anchor, I don't know how to say it. Um, but it's really, really, just really, um, they're really interesting painters, and uh, I do feel like this book spot spotlights them pretty well. Um, it is just. There's something so peaceful about their paintings to me, but cool. So for the most part, these paintings have all been, um, were, the ones that we were looking at were all, mostly all Croyer's work, so now we're moving into some of the others. This is a painting of Anna by her husband, Michael. And then this is a painting of Anna's. So this book does spotlight her work pretty well, which is always kind of nice to see. Um, do you believe all of these are Anna's paintings? Yeah. They're just really, really interesting to see. Um, these, then it moves into photography. Um, I don't particularly know, again, I use books more for reference than for reading, but, but it is in English, so you can read it, but, uh, but it kind of goes into this group in photography, so probably a very interesting section to read. Um, you'd think I would be better about that with all this free time, but you know. Um, now this this part of the book kind of moves into the actual catalog. I do believe this was done for an, an exhibition. Um, this one's this is kind of cool because there's so many people in this image and this goes through and labels them all. So you can find each and every one. I think Croyer somewhere on the edges somewhere. Oh, it's pretty interesting. But yeah, so this is the official catalog um, of work, which is pretty, which is always nice to see. You know, just image after image. What's funny is this, it actually breaks it down into which rooms these were in, which I'm sure was very helpful when this exhibit was up, but I can't imagine it's very useful now. Yeah, so definitely mostly Courier's work, but again, some Anna and Michael, Ancher, and then uh, other names I cannot pronounce, so we're just going to keep going. <laughs> but really, some really beautiful paintings in here, and also diverse, so you know, portraits, landscapes, interior scenes, things like that. So it's not a very big book. It's kind of light, but um, but overall it is really nice and stuff. So let's keep going through. But yeah, so it's again if you have interest in Croyer, which I, I didn't know a ton about Croyer before um, until until pretty recently. And when I found a book on him, I was like, oh, that's a great way to get introduced to more of his, his work and the people he worked around. So that's kind of my purpose for it. So I think that's actually the, yeah. And then it, it ends with a little biography on each artist. So like I said, not a big book, but one I've really enjoyed. So there you go. I hope everyone enjoyed that video. Um, I'll see you next week for book review number five. And I'm thinking I'm going to spotlight some female artists, so.
see you then.